Hey guys, what are you and welcome back to remaking another Chairman 0102 Legend in FM23. And today, I've got a bit out there. I've gone for Goalkeeper. Now, he is definitely one of the most famous goalkeepers on CM0102. He is the Greek shot-stopping legend. Don't put his name. Dionysus Shiotis. I think that's how you say it. Shiotis. Uh, anyway, before we get into this and having a look at him and his stats from CM102, if you're enjoying this type of content or you enjoy uh, Let's Play content, I have the Oldham to Ohm save. Come and check that out. We're just uh, heading back into the Premier League um, at the moment, and it is tough going, I'll tell you that. But here is, uh, yeah, so su subscribe. Subscribe, yes, subscribe to that and like this video. Push it out to more people. And don't forget as well, uh, let me know down in the comments what other Chairman 0102 Wonder Kids who maybe didn't quite make it as good as they did in real life as they did in that game. Who do you want to see? Let me know. Done about another, what have I done, about eight or so previous, so go and check those ones out as well. And uh, yeah, let me know. Anyway, here is uh, Shiotis' stats from CM012. As you can see, uh, yeah. He, I mean, he's pretty good in this game too, in um, CM0102. He was such a good, reliable goalkeeper. Um, it was the occasion when you sign him where he was a little bit dodgy, but he definitely could be got on the cheap and was pretty damn good. Let's go see him out at the start of his career at AEK Athens. And here he is as a 17-year-old goalkeeper, obviously. He's a goalkeeper. <laughs> yeah. Um, he is... Uh, I mean, he's not... He doesn't look that outstanding. He's 17. He's only about four and a half to 13 and a half million though. Um, 186 centimeters, 87 kilos. His communication is good as kicking. You have a look at these stats though. They are all nines and whatnot. So um, the problem is there's not a lot of goalkeeping stats in CMO 102. So I think that's kind of what happened here. But physically he's amazing. He's brave and he's determined and he has a good work rate. He also has nine for penalty taking, which is pretty good. Five for free kicks. So uh, I think he's going to develop very, very nicely. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I guess the first thing is to go out and check him out at uh, 22 years of age. And he is a Leicester player at 22. Uh, and, he, wow, he looks absolutely phenomenal. Remember his stats from the, <laughs> from the start there. It was, I mean, he only had communication was 11. And what was the other one? Is it one-on-ones? I can't remember. It was also 11. So his stats have gone through the roof. At 22, he is a world-class goalkeeper, unflappable model citizen. 33 caps already for Greece. I always forget to check where the national team is before we move on. But as you can see here, physically, mentally, he's great. Um, he is a really, really good goalkeeper. 43 to 130 million is what he's worth and 73k per week. Here's his career stats. He obviously played two years at AEK, 55 games, 44 goals considered, 17 clean sheets in that second season before a £15.5 million pound move to Leicester in the Premier League, where his first two seasons were a bit dusty, although he did concede uh, only 36 here and got 14 clean sheets. His uh, third year with Leicester has been a lot better, uh, 19 clean sheets there as well. Milestones-wise, uh, he made his senior debut here, AEK Best 11, Greek Super League, yep, yep, a lot of went, and is that the Greek Cup, possibly, yep, the Greek Cup, um, yep, Europa League, young player of the season, first inter international cap v against Scotland, V19, bought for Leicester, um, see, oh, next gen winner, wow, look at that, a goalkeeper winning the next gen, I have not seen that for a while, but he wins it at uh, 19 years old. Well done. Because that is probably one of the only awards going to get. I mean, getting a Ballon d'Or would be that would be impressive, but that's not going to happen at all. Yeah, best 11s, a couple of best 11s here. Best Greek player abroad and Premier League Golden Glove. So, Shotis, Golden Glove there, could be Allison uh, to that award. Uh, let's go check out Greece. Um, can we see? Okay, so they were, all right, so they're roughly about 48. They are now up at 34. So, well done here, Shiotis. He is their key player. Not their captain, obviously. Um, let's go and have a look at their schedule, see what they've done over the last five sort of years. So, UEFA Nations League, uh, Euro qualifiers. Uh, no, they didn't get out of them. World Cup qualifiers. They made the World Cup where they drew Brazil and South Korea and they beat South Korea but lost to Brazil and that was the end of their World Cup run. Can we have a look at this? We cannot. We're assuming Shotis is there. 
starting goalkeeper in 2026. But European qualifiers, and they're actually going quite well with those Euro qualifiers. They played no games in 2028. Obviously, yes, it's 2027. We're not that far yet. Excellent. So, uh, Shotis looks pretty, pretty good. He's getting some good caps under his belt for uh, his national team as well and looks really, really good. Uh, I'm not sure if Leicester's a good good move. I wonder where they have been finishing in the Premier League. So, last three seasons, oh, 17th, 16th, but a sixth place finish. So, they are in Europe now. They've got good old Ange Postacoglu uh, as their manager. Good old Aussie there. Good old Ange. All right. Enough of that. Let's go and check him out in a... Uh, 10 years from the start. And here he is, Shiotis, age 27. He is still at Leicester. He is still, he's a commanding goalkeeper now, unflappable model citizen, 81 caps for Greece, 29 to 87 million on him. About 100K more per week. Um, having a look at his goalkeeping stats, he is incredible. Avoid using his weaker foot, which is his uh, left foot, but he's still quite strong there. Physically, he's amazing. Mentally, he's awesome. He's not very aggressive, actually. Just notice that. Um, but he's a really, really good goalkeeper. 186 height. Probably a little bit small. Maybe that was my fault when putting him in, in there. Probably could have another four, five centimeters on there. 91 kilos. He's a he's still a big, big boy. 299 games for Leicester and only conceding a goal per game. Very, very good. So he had three seasons here at Leicester, and since then, uh, average rating's a little bit low, but re clean sheets in the in the, um, in the the doubles, except for this last season here, but his average rating is actually quite low. I wonder if that's just being at Leicester. Let's go and have a look at his milestones from 2027. Um, Premier League, Golden Glove, is that again? Um, No, that was the one he, he got when we just left. So 2028, we're looking at here. He is the FIFA best men's goalkeeper runner-up, Golden Glove runner-up. Who's he losing out to here? Um, Diego Costa. And that's it. So he lost out to Diego Costa and was, no, that was the one we looked at. It was, the, and this one here, also losing out to Diego Costa as well. So... Bit of a bummer there. Obviously, seasonal best 11s, he's going to get them all the time. He Leicester won the Europa Conference League, so he has got a Conference League winner's medal there. Can't see anything else really happening in terms of the national team, but we will go and check out what Greece are doing. They're up to 29. They were 34 before, so looking really good. He is still their key player. Jump into their schedule, go all the way back to 2028. So they made the Euros, and they got through to the second round before being dumped out by Spain. After a pretty ordinary group stage, only beating Northern Ireland in a draw with Croatia. Got some World Cup qualifiers where they're looking pretty good. Nations League, they were terrible. Euro qualifiers. Uh, did, we, did they not make the World Cup? When would there have been a World Cup? Uh, 22, 28, there was a World Cup. That no, was Euros. So it was a 30, there was a World Cup. They didn't make the World Cup in 2030. Um, Euro qualifiers, so made the Euros again. Euros are happening at the moment. and just beaten Scotland 2-0. And uh, they've got Netherlands and Croatia there as well. As you see, Shotis in goal there on a 7.8 uh, for that game. If we click on here, um, Scotland three shots. And like, oh, he didn't have much to do, to be honest. Scotland were pretty, pretty ordinary. But looking really good. Dionysus, Dionysus Shiotis. Is he going to stay at Leicester? He's only 27, so he's probably got a good 10 more years left in him uh, before he's retired, before he's going to obviously hang up his boots. But he's moved that bigger club on. Let's let's go and check him out uh, at age 32. And he has made that big money move. He has moved to Real Madrid. He is 32 years old. He is a world-class goalkeeper, unflappable model citizen, 130 caps for Greece. No goals, unfortunately. Uh, Stats-wise, we can actually click on them here now and see how he looks for a, uh, a with just a standard goalkeeper, I guess, on defend or even a sweeper keeper on support. We'll do that. Good area reach, command of error, communication. All the stats in the right position here. Rushing out's not huge, but his anticipation, composer, concentration, decisions, positioning is amazing. Physically, he is pretty, pretty awesome too. 300,000 pounds per week. 
looking really, really good. Still playing for Greece as well. I wonder if he can be the top uh, appearances for Greece. We will check that out. He made 450 appearances for Leicester. He's obviously just moved. Just, just moved. So he had him uh, 32 here. Uh, a good season here. Uh, not so good here. And not great. Not great. Uh, but not not considering more than too many more than one a goal, he's actually under uh, one a uh, one a game at this point with 195 clean sheets, 33 player of the matches, so fairly decent. But be good to get that average rating up a bit. But his season in the Liga here with Madrid, where he moved for 63 million, he only conceded 14 goals. That's crazy. 25 clean sheets, amazing. Let's go and check him out. Uh, 2002, they won the Conference League. Uh, Golden Glove third place, uh, still just seasonal best 11s. He's bought by Real Madrid for 63. They win La Liga. He's best Greek player abroad again. Must be winning that a fair few times. Actually misses out. He gets it at Leicester, but misses out to a couple of these guys here. Um, when new gens here. They seem okay. He's fairly decent, and but he does get it uh, in his first season there in Real Madrid. Spanish goalkeeper of the year. Obviously, looking pretty good there. Um, what else? Uh, and you, Champions League goalkeeper of the season as well. Looking really good. We're just going to dump, jump, dump, jump back into Leicester and just have a look, see how they how they went here um, over his time. So they almost got relegated. He's he's done pretty well, sort of keep him hovering uh, just outside those European positions. A fifth place finish was best, but. As you can see here, it's dived off a little bit. Is Ange still in charge? He is not. Ange Postacoglu has left Leicester City. Um, yeah, it looks really good. Let's go check out Greece. I want to check out the records for the most most caps by a player is Georgios Karagounis was 139. So Shotis is breathing down his neck for that one. He is captain and key, key player as well. They dropped down to 39th. That's not good, which probably means that they are not uh, going to have made much of an impact on anything. Here's the Euros. Ah, oh, what? Undefeated. Beating Netherlands and Croatia and then getting dumped out by Northern Ireland. Fair play. Fair play, Northern Ireland. Um, we have World Cup qualifiers where they miss out on another World Cup. Euro qualifiers, nothing. More World Cup qualifiers going on at the moment. So definitely, definitely tumbling down. They've, they've not made a World Cup in quite a while, and that obviously is the um, dictated there by that low, low ranking. But Chiotis at the moment, he is uh, 32 years old. We're going to jump forward another five years. I think, I think, did I jump a bit further? I can't remember, but we'll go and check him out towards the end of his career. And then here he is, Shiotis, 39. Yeah, we jumped a little bit ahead. We jumped another, we jumped seven years ahead. He's still at Real Madrid. He's retiring this year. Uh, he still looks pretty damn awesome as a goalkeeper. Some of the drop off there physically, mentally, he's still very, very good. Uh, 194 caps for Greece. He's with the Greece squad at the moment. If they're in the middle of a Euro or a World Cup, maybe he's getting some more game time. He's a fearless goalkeeper, plays my games on football, is a model citizen. He's got his staff attributes. We would love to check them out. Not bad a goalkeeping coach. Maybe he could be a bit better, but uh, looks pretty good there so far. But yeah. Really amazing career. 295 appearances for Real Madrid, only conceding 153 goals. Really, really good stuff. Let's go and have a look here. So he had uh, another... Oh, just the seasons in Madrid have really helped to boost up his overall average rating there. And look at these goals conceded. 20s, 18, 20, 13, 19. What a season. Clean sheets, the lowest he had was 18, but 800 games overall, only 648 goals considered, 341 clean sheets. That is incredible. And 45 men in the matches, what a goalkeeping legend. Uh, so 2037 is where we're stopping. What happened? So we know we won La Liga here. Let's have a look here. So Super Copa winners, Copa del Rey and La Liga. Best Greek Player Award, Spanish Goalkeeper Runner-Up, Champions League Goalkeeper of the Season, Golden Glove Runner-Up, FIFA Men's Best Goalkeeper, Super Copa, Champions League winners. Wow, he is really racking up some awards here at Real Madrid. Liga again, Goalkeeper of the Year Runner-Up, 
Champions League goalkeeper of the year runner up. Yep. World Golden Glove, FIFA best men's goalkeeper. He's been wow, oh, he wins that a fair, fair few times at Real Madrid. Well done, FIFA best men's goalkeeper. Golden Glove, he wins that a few times as well. So obviously the move to Madrid has done him wonders. I can't remember where we were now. Um Champions League here, Copa del Rey, Super Copa, yep. Uh, another La Liga. Uh, yep, yep, yep. Doesn't look like he's winning another uh, Champions League, but Copa del Rey's World Golden Glove runner-up, third place. Yep, Super Copa, Copa del Rey, La Liga again. Spanish First Division Goalkeeper of the Year, Golden Glove, yada, yada, yada. Copa del Rey, La Liga. So he wins a fair few La Liga titles in his time in Real Madrid. They're only missing out on two. I think, since his moves so are really, really racking up the awards there. But how has Greece gone overall? Oh, God, equal 51st, boys. What happened? What happened? He is still their captain, still their key player, possibly the most captain, 194. That is true. Let's go and have a look at the schedule. So they're in the Euros at the moment. So he would need to play another six games to get 200 caps. We're never going to find out if that happens. Um, but let's go all the way back here to 30, somewhere here. No World Cup. No, no, just qualifiers. No, they make the Euros here, but they've already lost um, to Romania and sit bottom of the, oh, not bottom of the group, sorry, it's Italy bottom of the group here. Romania losing 2-1 shots. It's on a 5.4, dude, what are you doing? What are you doing? And they've missed a penalty as well. Wow. Absolutely gutting there. But I, I very much, I mean, six more games. He would need one, two. What do we do? We've got second round, quarterfinal. That's four. Semi-final, final. One, two. Second round, quarterfinal, semi-final. Final. Yeah, he could do it. Greece would have to make the finals of the Euro of the of these Euros for Shotters to get two hundred caps. Not sure that's going to happen. I think he's going to be caught short, uh, possibly on about one hundred and ninety six. But still, what an outstanding career, Dionysus He's Shiotis there, the goalkeeper. Can win a Ballon d'Or. Really hard for a goalkeeper, I must say. But a really great career at AEK. Short, massive, massive career in the Premier League, considering goal per game, and then finishing off his career and just racking up the trophies in Spain. So, well done, Shotters. I definitely think that's a success. I'm giving that a thumbs-up success. Uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed that. If you're not subscribed, if you could, uh, smash a like, and let me know who you want to see from Champion 102 Remade. See you guys next time. Bye.